about you singing, you singing uh, jazz, uh, swing things, old things, I or do you have new arrangements? I consider myself a jazz singer, and I think jazz encompasses the blues and the swing and lots of other elements. Yeah. And why you prefer the swing? You, you sing just swing, or what is your background? Why you sing swing? Um, as I said before, I think that that um, I, I sing um, I sing jazz, and I sing traditional jazz, which happens to be um, you know Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, and Sarah uh, Sarah Vaughan. And you you would you could say that these that these girls are, are swing singers, but um, but I, I prefer to use the word um, jazz myself because. Mm -hmm. The word swing, especially in San Francisco, um, I was definitely one of the people that was um, in the center of the um, the retro renaissance, which started inside of San Francisco, and it was the revival of swing, and it started inside of San Francisco. So during this time, there was a lot of, of bands that um, that were involved in the retro renaissance that mm -hmm. were called swing, but sometimes when you, you say swing, they don't know if you mean jump blues, um, it could be rockabilly, yeah. um, or it could just be blues, or it could be rock, you know, yeah. or, it, or it could be jazz. So when I, when I say, um, when I say, when I think of, of a swing, I think of many, many different things because yeah. I've, I've been in the center of this, this whole swing revival. Yeah. So I would say that I do, um, that I'm a, a jazz and jazz blues singer. Um, that, that uh, focuses on uh, traditional swinging, swinging jazz and the, uh, and the tradition of the Count Basie band and the vocalists that were associated with the Count Basie band, which would be Billie Holiday, Helen Humes, and Joe Williams. Mm -hmm. um, uh, say somebody like Billie Holiday, she was called a blues singer, and she was never a blues singer. Um, <laughs> yes, you know, right. um, she was never called a swing singer either. No, even no. though I think she's what she Holiday. was doing, she was Billie <laughs> Holiday, or say Helen Humes, uh -huh. um, who took over her spot inside of the Count Basie band after Billie Holiday left. And she's mm -hmm. another person that um, you know maybe was called this or this or that. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it's very complicated um, the term swing and and what, what it means. And the feeling when you sing, what do you feel? Um, <laughs> I consider myself uh, an empath. So my, my role as a singer is to guide people on the emotional journey of the lyrics of the song. So each song has a different message, and I, I guide them uh, along that journey with with the lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, swing is something that you either have or you don't have. It's not something that that's mm -hmm. that's easily taught. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I sing I sing swing because I can. <laughs> when you are in Europe or in Switzerland, mm -hmm. you feel uh, different about the audience, like in America, and what is the difference for you, just well, for you? Every, every country is very different. Um, in America, jazz is, is our indigenous music, and so we grow up with a, a lot of things that are just ingrained inside of our consciousness, inside of mm -hmm. our being, and there are certain songs that are just part of, of, of being American and especially what you would call swing music mm -hmm. is is um, it's from the days of America where um, everybody knew what the difference was between right and wrong and everything was mm -hmm. very clear and, and, yes. and easy things are not um, things are not so black and white anymore who, who we mm -hmm. think is good um, may turn out to be bad and, mm -hmm. and we can't trust our politicians and we don't know what's going on but from the swing era it was it was very clear 
and we could trust our politicians and we could trust what was written in the papers and mm -hmm. it, it's uh, the golden the golden age and it, it makes people nostalgic and think of their mm -hmm. youth in a certain way that I don't I don't see that inside of Europe Europeans they love jazz yes. and they're crazy about it but it's in a, it's in a different way it's more in, a, in an exotic way it's in a yes. way that that not it's not uh, not many people sing it and not many people do it so it makes it more more precious mm -hmm. um, but only in a very few places um, does it revive old memories? There are some very old people inside of Basel because it was uh, the gateway inside of World War II, and mm -hmm. there, uh, you know, it was uh, swing music was outlawed in, in Germany, and so people yeah. would have to sneak over the border into <laughs> Basel and, and go to all these great jazz clubs. Yes, and that's I, right. And so I know inside of Basel, for the older people, it gives them that nostalgic feeling of of, yes. of that time. Also inside of France, inside of Paris, uh, I feel that too. Um, in Italy, it's it's different. It doesn't. It's not nostalgic. It's something that more young people are into, and they're just yeah. they're just they're crazy about it, and they're more they're like, ah, you know, like ah, and they're just crazy, and they scream, and they yes. wave signs, and they just want to kiss you and touch you, and, yes. and then I think in Switzerland it's more. It must be great feeling there. Yes, it is. Yeah. You're like a rock star. In Switzerland, yeah. it's more reserved, you know, but, and, yes. but they're very quiet and they listen. It's more like a concert. It's and more intellect, I think. Yes, also more intellectual. Yeah. Um, uh, the French people, they like to dance, and they're very good dancers. Yes. Yeah. And I noticed that a lot yeah. of French people are good dancers. Um, uh, there are, and the Germans, um, for some of them, it was like this forbidden music, and mm -hmm. and so yes. they they treat it like, oh, yes, I remember, I had this album, and I hid it from my mother, and it was oh. Louis Armstrong, <laughs> and, and and I knew I would get in trouble for having it. So yes. it, it it all has it has a different meaning yes. for for every country that that uh -huh. you're in. Yes.